us to release our minds and hearts off into the Trinity and to bestow on our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims who have shared his willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your goodness. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into light and love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But may each minute take us further into the depths of the cosmos until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things. Him is on page F12. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is to us and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to
Jesus accept the gift of life-giving water. O God, you are my God, for you I love, for you my soul is thirsty. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my house. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the soul and left as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God, all that swear by him shall be blessed, for the mouth of liars shall be silent. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Let him who desires accept the gift of life-giving water. He ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne of justice and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed. Those who boast of their worthless gods, all you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. O Lord our God, you have created all things. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all.
Zion, praise your God. 
taught your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters o'er frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Alleluia. Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. Hallelujah. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with him roll and hard. For the, the Lord takes delight in his, his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. From the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you, that you may live, and I will settle up you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord.
seven. No, this assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters O shining star of the church who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the word eternal fruit of his bosom 
source of all life and of all truth. O oh, beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, joining the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O oh, beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapetus, under the life and guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus and our Mother. 